If you enable autosave, VS Code will automatically save your files as you work. Now, by default, autosave is not enabled on the desktop version of VS Code. So as I go in here, I start typing, you notice there's this little dirty indicator in my current file. To get rid of that and actually save the file to disk, I actually have to go and manually save things with Control S or Command S in this example. With autosave, VS Code will instead automatically save the file as I'm working. So there's a few different ways you can configure autosave, and let's take a look at those. I'm going to open up my settings with Control comma or Command comma on Mac, and then go and search for autosave. And we want the files autosave setting here. Again, you can see that the default is off on desktop. And if I go and expand the options here, there's a few different options for when VS Code can actually automatically save the files. The most common one is probably after delay. So after delay means that VS Code will automatically save the file after a specific amount of delay. That delay is configured in this file autosave delay setting here. You can see that the default delay is 1,000 milliseconds or one second. So as I'm going along here, every one second or so, VS Code will go and automatically save the file. I don't have to think about anything here. You can see that things are just getting automatically saved in the background there. Now, some of the other settings, we can go to on focus change, and this will mean that the file will be automatically saved whenever the focus changes to a different editor. Let's take a quick look at that one. So go back here, make a few edits. You can see I have the dirty indicator. And then as soon as I switch over to another file here, that file will be saved. So whenever the focus of the current editor changes, then it will go and, and um, save that file. And then finally, one last one here is on window change. And this means that VS Code will not save when I switch the editor focus. So I can go to multiple files here. But if I switch over to another window or application, such as switching to uh, a different app here, I just um, command tabbed over to a different app, you can see that these two files have both been saved. So whenever the VS Code window itself loses focus, then it will go and automatically save the files. Again, I think the most useful and the most common one is probably the after delay setting. That's a good default to have. You can still manually trigger saves, of course. Um, auto save will not trigger things like quick fixes on save or format on save. So you can tr manually trigger a save to actually trigger those type of things. But I like having auto save enabled. It's just a good default and make sure that your work is always being saved and you don't lose anything. So that's the files auto save setting in VS Code.